Hello, I'm Mr. Craig and I want to show a demo where I'm going to lower the atmospheric pressure over this container which I will place some tap water in which is at room temperature. I just took it out of the tap. I'm going to place that tap water um, in the container. It's actually kind of an interesting piece of glassware. I'm not sure exactly what that type of glassware is. I will place a digital thermometer in there and I'll let you see the temperature of the actual water just to prove that it is at room temperature. It is pretty cool. So I'll go ahead and pour the water into this container. What I have is a vacuum pump and what will happen is I'm going to place a, a bell jar which is made of glass which I have right here over the container and I will turn the pump on and once the pump starts running what it will do is there's an opening at the bottom of this platform where it'll draw the air out and reducing the atmospheric pressure. I want to position this the camera in such a way that you can actually see the thermometer and see what's happening and here's my prediction as the water begins to boil at room temperature for the water the water will actually get colder or cooler so the temperature will drop for the water as it's boiling all right so let me go ahead and do a couple things here i need to seal the bottom of the the bell jar now i'm going to place some good old-fashioned petroleum jelly on that but before i do that let me put the thermometer in here so you can get a reading of the temperature here and let me zoom in on that just to get what the temperature is right now so the temperature at this moment is at a balmy 20.7 degrees Celsius. So everybody should be able to see that. So 20.7 degrees Celsius, which is pretty typical for room temperature, and that's about 70 degrees Fahrenheit-ish. So there's our thermometer, and I'll go back in on that here in a second. Um, also, the reason why I have this container back here just so that there's a little bit of contrast so you can see what's happening so let me zoom out as far as i can and reposition this okay and i think i'm good here so let me go ahead and put some petroleum jelly on the bottom of the bell jar also what i have on top of the bell jar is there's an opening here and that allows for the atmospheric pressure to re-enter once we're finished with this experiment and you'll see something pretty cool there then i also have two um, glass rods here not rods i'm sorry glass um oh shoot they're not straws but they're kind of like straws but they're they're open rods and i have to have a, um, a device here to allow the air to come back in once the experiment's finished so let me put some petroleum jelly on the bottom of this jar and again there's no tricks taking place here and the reason why i want to put some petroleum jelly on the bottom of this is so that we can produce a seal so I'm just gonna put it around the edge here and that'll keep the air from coming in because again just the glass on the um, the plate the metal plate wouldn't be enough of a seal so kind of making a mess there just make sure there's enough jelly on there okay so I think we're good there. Okay, so carefully, I'm gonna place this on here. Did a pretty good job with that. So I believe everything's in place. Again, let's just, so there's our apparatus with the bell jar. And let me do kind of a little scan there so you can see that that's connected. Also, let's zoom in on the temperature, which right now is at 20.8. So it's a little warmer, but that's all right. And so, but again, not 100 degrees. So obviously that's the temperature in which water boils under normal conditions. Okay. Plug the pump in. Okay, so once I plug the pump in, sorry, the power, and then we begin the pump. And what it's going to do is seal the bell jar. You can hear some strange noises taking place there. And soon we will start to see some bubbling. I'm going to zoom in on the container itself. 
and you might be able to see some bubble starting to form there and again what's happening as the atmospheric pressure gets lower and lower the intermolecular forces are weakened so much that the water begins to boil now again it's boiling pretty well here and that didn't take a whole lot of time but as we look at this and I'm going to zoom back out I didn't do anything to this it's not hot I'm touching the plate itself it's not heated and again that takes that took place rather quickly now as this is still boiling let me zoom in on the temperature here Actually, let's position it so we can actually see the temperature and the temperature right now is at 20.6 and it was at 20 point oh there it dropped uh it was at 20.8 when we started now it's at 20.4 let's see if we can get it down to 20 i bet we can get this down to 19. again as this is still boiling and again when we talk about boiling boiling is relative it doesn't necessarily mean that something is hot what it simply means is that the vapor pressure above the liquid is the same as the atmospheric pressure and so the intermolecular forces are able to weaken and cause this liquid to turn into a gas. Now the temperature is at 20.1. I'll bet you we'll be able to get into the 19s before this is all finished. Up to 20. And again, let's zoom back out. There, the water's still boiling. Now, just because it's boiling doesn't necessarily mean it's hot. And then let's take a look, and we are at 19.8, I believe it is. Okay, so I'm going to back out here. So you've seen that the temperature actually did drop as this took place. Let me set up this here, the camera. Okay, so let's go ahead and kill the pump. So as the atmospheric pressure got lower, the, the water, in this case, was able to boil out. And again, this is just good old tap water. Now the final temperature, let me zoom in here, it says 19.4. So that dropped almost a degree, 0.4, so 1.4 degrees. Now I'm curious if any of you have any ideas to why that temperature would have dropped. Let you think about that for a little bit here. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is this this is pretty well mounted on here since this the atmospheric pressure is so much stronger than the um, than the pressure inside. So the atmospheric pressure is pushing down on this. So what I need to do is slowly reintroduce the air or the atmospheric pressure. So let me show you how I'm doing that. Oop, sorry. So I will let the air in slowly by releasing this valve. You can start to hear that. Back it up a little bit so you can see what's happening. So as I allow the air back in, and now that the the pressure inside and outside the container are equal, I can simply lift that off. Now, what's cool about this is. The temperature in this is actually cooler at a 19.3 degree temperature. And again, this is just regular old tap water. But there's your demo of having water boil at room temperature.